Hey, what's happening, guys? I've got a uh, breadboard or a PCB project coming up this month where I'm adapting an Arduino to make it a little bit more, you know, accessible for learning. So I figured before I do that, since I intend to use the AT328P chip itself, not just plug an Arduino into the board, I should know how to set and run one up. And in theory, I know. In the practice, it might be an entirely different thing. So I purchased a couple of these. These are 328Ps. They're in a quad flat pack that I couldn't solder on my best day when I was 20 years old, let alone an average day at 53. So they're on a little adapter boards. And they come with resistors and loading capacitors. So I figured I'd get an LED, a 330R current limiting resistor for it, and we put them on the breadboard. I even broke out a new breadboard for this. And you have no idea how rare that is. When my uh, great-grandmother, Mary, died in the 90s, and they were cleaning out her house, they found all the clothes they had bought her over the years, still wrapped or folded or whatever, neatly packed away. That's how I am with breadboards. <laughs> breadboard, I'd put it away. I'm using these old ones till there's absolutely nothing left. <laughs> all right, so move this out of the way here. I have our pinout for the good old Atmega here. So the pins that we're going to be very concerned about are VCC, ground, crystal, crystal. There's another ground over there. And pin 13 for our blink sketch. So now we know where they are. So I got these off of Amazon. Don't remember the price, but they were very inexpensive. Definitely less than ten dollars for the two chips. And there's where they came from. Uh, Naughty part, Naughty Starts, is the name of the company. And then there's your part number. Might want to wait till we find out if this works before you purchase any. So pin seven, pin one, there's pin one, has our VCC, so I will orient the board in this direction here. Oh, the click of a fresh breadboard. All right, let me see if I can find some jumpers. Give me a second. All right, found two boxes of them. Amazing I found anything, but yes, I did. All right, so. Pin seven is our VCC. So one, two, three, six, seven. Double check one, two, four, five, six, seven. That is correct. And then we need a ground. Okay, grab whatever you yeah, Okay, how about green? Green's a good ground color. So that ground is on pin eight, which is the very next one. Oh, it doesn't want to play nice. How about there? There we go. No, still not. Take it up one more. Nice. So we get our VCC and our ground attached. VCC is again on pin seven, ground on pin eight. 
now we got our crystal on pins 9 and 10. All right, so this is a 16 megahertz crystal. That's what the, uh, the Arduino uses. And we've got two 22 puff uh, capacitors as a load for it. So there's our crystal. There is seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like so. Make sure we're not grounding out on anything. I don't believe we are. So then we'll take our 22 puff capacitors. And they both need to go to ground. So... There's one. And here's the other one. Good. You get a nice look at how they fit in there. Pins 9 and 10 are going through a 22 puff ceramic capacitor to ground and now realistically that's all you need to run it but we want something to show that it's running so we want digital pin 13 which we found out is pin 19 on the arduino so if we go 15 16 17 18 19 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Where am I going to go with that? The ground is one up. Hmm. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll put in a jumper just to get things out of the way. Man, I didn't want to come out of there. Okay, so 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, there's our jumper. And that will carry the signal. Away from all those pins that I don't want to really mess with. So, long leg positive. I don't know where I put it. Like so. And then we have our 330. Ohm current limiting resistor that will just take that directly to ground. And then we need to jump across the mighty chasm to connect our grounds. <laughs> Man, there's like no rigidity to these things at all. They're just like noodles, wet noodles. Okay. So that is all the physical connections to the Arduino. Now we just need a way to talk to it. Because your Uno R3 comes complete with a uh, USB driver. Well, we're not going to do that. 
but you will need a USB to TTL serial converter. I bought a cable. You don't have to get a cable. They have little ones that are like modules that plug into the breadboard. But you can see here, white is transmit, green is receive, black is ground, red is positive. So I have that plugged into my computer. And here's the business end. Transmit, receive, VCC, and ground. So I need to get some male header pins so that we can connect this up. One second, please. All right, in this case, I don't think header pins are going to be a good fit. Yeah, they go into the board this way, so this is what sticks up. And there's no contact there. So I'm going to grab something else that will be just a little bit more purchase for us. Okay, what I did is I used these nice brand new Kuwait wire cutters and strippers that they sent me to just cut some thick component leads. So, first thing we're going to hang, hang up, first thing we're going to hook up is the ground. up here so we're gonna go up here and then pin 2 is our RX which means it needs to be hooked to the TX over here so the TX is white so pin 2 is white pin 1 pin 2 then pin three is the opposite. And now I will hook up the power and hopefully nothing will explode. So there's the standard blink sketch running on it, which means the Arduino is working just fine. What we need to know now is, can we talk to it? All right. I haven't changed anything yet. I do have the Arduino IDE up and running. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to change the delay time from 1,000 milliseconds to 500 milliseconds and see if it writes. Here we go. It is compiling the sketch. The first sketch I do of the day, it just like it takes forever to compile, so I don't know what's going on. I guess I could sing you a song while we're waiting. Or I just pause it. Okay. It looks like it's actually going through now. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Global variables, maximum. Uploading. It says it's uploading. Yeah, I have a feeling it's not. It's just stuck there. Uno momento, por favor. Okay. So, what I think I've learned is that the computer needs to send the Arduino a reset signal to sync it before it'll accept the program. And I may have purchased the wrong cable. This is the one I got, the DTEC USB to UART TTL cable. And there's nothing about DTR. All right. I have to go and order a different adapter, I think. But we shall carry on. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. After all, it was Patreon money that bought the chips and the stuff and all the stuff that we use to make these videos. So if you're not a patron, consider joining. Buck a month's all I ask. That's it. I'm out. Peace.